I'm Zach Sharp from Stern Pinball, Director of Marketing. So Zach, talk about your history. You have a color history as a pinball champion. I do. I'd say I was kind of born into it. Uh, my dad helped legalize pinball in the 70s, and I grew up with pinball machines in my house growing up, and I own a few myself, and I play in tournaments all over the world, and I am currently ranked number one. What's it been like seeing pinball make a massive comeback these last five years, especially with Stern, who's the one of the only pinball manufacturers left? Well, now that I'm employed with Stern, it's fantastic. <laughs> but no, as a fan of pinball, I mean, how can you not be happy about it? So as a professional pinball player, do you have any insights on when they design a new board or when people request custom orders or anything like that? Sorry. Do you have like insight on design when they're making a, when you're making a pinball table? Do you help them say, hey, we should put this bumper there or we should move this here? Oh yeah, definitely. Doesn't mean that they'll listen to it, listen to me, but I like to think I have some good ideas. So not only from a physical design, but also from a rules perspective. So what are some of the challenges of making a good pinball game? Uh, it's a good question because you know every designer has different uh, philosophies. So I like to equate it as you know movies. Sometimes you're in the mood for a comedy, or you're in the mood for an action thriller. So depending on what you want out of a machine, you know, some machines have more flow, others are more stop and go. So there's no right or wrong way. What's it been like seeing Stern grow and evolve and become just the leading pinball manufacturer, I want to say, in the world at this point? Oh, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I don't know about you in your area, but the arcade scene has just been exploding. So to be able to see pinball machines on location has been awe-inspiring. Um, you know, I've grown up in Chicago my entire life, and it was sad, there was only one arcade by my house growing up. And when that went away, there were zero places for me to play pinball on location. Now, you know, with advancements in technology, I can go on my phone, look on a pinball app, and find out where all these machines are on location, and I can play anywhere in the world. So how does someone become a professional pinball player? Play a lot. No. A lot of quarters. I actually don't play that much. I just play, you know, get out and compete. I think the biggest thing you got to overcome is nerves. So what's the key to being a successful one? Like, is it your tilt? You have to have the perfect tilt. You have to know the, the table, like the back of your hand, what? It's a little bit of all of the above. You know, at the end of the day, it's executing. It's making your shots. So you might have all the rules knowledge in the world, but if you can't hit that shot that you need in that moment, it's not going to matter. So it's a combination of all of that. What's your favorite pinball table of all time? My favorite pinball machine of all time, that's a tough one. Depends on what you know. I'm in the mood for. There's been so many. There's been so many. I would say The Walking Dead, which we came out with a few years ago. But uh, this one's a close second. Now Stern actually does uh, a lot of custom work. What's one of the coolest pinball tables you've seen ordered through Stern? That's a little more few and far between that kind of private label. Um, I can't speak to it because it's not public yet, but the next one's going to be pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> if people wanted to get a pinball table for their man cave, where would they go? Go to www.sternpinball.com. If you click on the buy button and you can click on dealers, you'll find a local dealer near you.